Google has quietly released a massive update for AI Studio, which makes it a powerhouse for building simple AI-powered applications without needing to know how to code. And best of all, it has a very generous free tier, so you just need a Gmail account to get started. Let me show you how to build two AI-powered business applications, and we'll cover all the features of Google AI Studio along the way. Let's go. On the main page in Google AI Studio, if you look in the left menu for build, that's where you can build the AI apps. The first thing you'll notice is it defaults the model to Gemini 2.5 Pro. And this is the best coding model that Google has. It was pretty nice they included this for free. And the concept with this new app builder is that you first pick a template, you can think of this as your base layer, and then your prompt builds on top of that. And we see through all the templates they have here. For our first use case, I want to copy the text off of a photo of a receipt and then convert it to a structured file. So we can start with the analyze images as a good base. Once you select that, now it's going to show that template they're using as the base above the prompt. And they've made it a true vibe coding app. They're giving you a speech to text button here. So let's try that out. Build an app that extracts the text from a photo of a receipt. Store the text in a structured JSON format. Okay, and let's just hit build. It took just over a minute to build, but now we got a nice AI app. Let's see if it actually works. So I drag this receipt in here and say, analyze receipt. And you'll notice I didn't have to put in API keys or anything in. It just does all that automatically for you. It's done a great job of taking that text off that crumpled receipt and, and putting it here in text in a nice structured format. And I assume it's storing all this data as a JSON object behind the scenes. But let's ask it to put a button in here so we can actually download that file. And there's a really cool new feature here that lets you kind of draw on the application and make changes from there. If you look down the prompt window, there is an annotate app button. And then I'll put a text box here and say, add download JSON button here. You can do shapes, you can sketch all kinds of things. And when you're done, you can just say add to chat. And now it's going to take a screenshot of that with your annotation and put that in the prompt window. You can just submit that. It's just a really nice way to change the application visually. Sometimes it's hard to explain in just a natural language what changes you want. It seems to work really well. And there we go. Just like I asked for, I read the screenshot, figured out that I want to download JSON button right where I put it. Now it gives it to me. Let's see if it actually works. And there we go. Just download this JSON file and it looks perfect. Another really nice feature is that it always builds the apps responsive. If you look here at device, you can actually test it out on a mobile device test it on a tablet. From my experience, they always work nicely on all devices. They are very simple user interfaces, but I actually like that for a prototype. I just want to be able to build the functionality. And also during this whole process, I never had to put in an API key. It automatically gets my API key. There is a feature in the top right, you can say switch to API key. What this will do is once you run out of your free credits, it'll automatically switch you to a paid API key. But I've been playing with this for a few days and I haven't even needed this yet. I think the way they're combining a template with AI coding, it makes it less token intensive, which is why I think you can get so much out of the free tier here. And if you do want to see the code itself, you can. It's kind of hidden here, but you can see the code. I've noticed in all the apps I've built, there's a lot of reuse. Like for example, almost every app has this Gemini service. It is slightly different depending on what app it is, but the way they're reusing code, they're not reinventing the wheel every single time, which is really good. And when you get to a state where you want to share with other people, get some feedback, they have this deploy app button. So you can just really quickly deploy it to your Google Cloud project and it gives you back a URL you can just run anywhere. The next app I wanted to build was a YouTube thumbnail generator. And so the perfect one for that would be the Nano Banana powered app. So Nano Banana is really good at generating new images and also editing images. I'll select that as my template. Build a YouTube thumbnail generator where I can upload an image of myself, give it a style, and have a minimalist YouTube thumbnail produced. Make it 16 by 9 aspect ratio. All right, this is what it came back with. So let me upload my portrait. Then describe your style. Make this a minimalist thumbnail with a retro filter. That sounds good to me. Let's just see if this thing works. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know why I put it, huh, WTF here, but... The retro filter looks good. The background looks okay. I'm going to have to dial this in a bit, but I think this actually has some potential. And with Google AI Studio, you'll get to a point where you need to take it outside here. So this is really good for working with Gemini, working with things inside Google. But when you want to connect to a database or connect to another system, for example, that's usually when you want to go to the next step above prototyping, you want to go to another AI code editor. The best way to do that, they have a GitHub button right at the top. So if you say get save to GitHub, once you have your GitHub connection all set up, all you have to do is just give it a repository name and description. And then just creates a GitHub repository, copies all this code over to the main branch. You can just commit it. Now you can just hook up something like the Gemini CLI to that GitHub repository and keep developing from there. I'm actually working on a video right now on the Gemini CLI and the new features over there. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Definitely check out Google's new AI Studio app builder. It's just really fun to build stuff with. I hope you're having an amazing day. I'll talk to you in the next one.